Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the latest Resurrection Remix ROM with Marshmallow for Galaxy S4. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so I've got the latest Resurrection Remix ROM installed on my T-Mobile Galaxy S4. Uh, this one is actually made for the T-Mobile Galaxy S4, but you can also install on the GTI 9505. You can also on the, install on the Canadian a Galaxy S4. Um, it should work also on AT&T just fine, so long as you have a, a unlocked bootloader. So definitely recommend it for those of you who want to run the latest Android 6.0.1. I have get very good uh, cell phone signal, 4G LT works, uh, Bluetooth, everything works out of the box. Very nice ROM. Let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff that you can do. Of course, with Resurrection Remix, there is a ton of customization. This ROM is actually very similar um, to the other ROM I showed you yesterday. So let me go ahead and show you. Um, you'll be able to find all the customizations uh, in configurations. All right, let me go ahead and walk you through uh, for some of these things here. Um, resurrection logo, custom logos, uh, weather settings, show notification count, um, double tap to sleep. Uh, all of these features you'll be able to find under status bar, uh, clock customizations, right? If you want to do it in the center, a notification drawer, a notification header, and you can actually put some custom headers here. Uh, header image pack, let's do nature random. Um, this allows you to put cool headers on top. You can also change it to nature. That's kind of nice. All right, and you can also shadow header image there, which will actually make it a little bit darker. Let's actually mess with header items. What does this do? Um, show weather. You can also control all of these things that show up in your header. Uh, let's say you don't want clock, notification, all of this stuff, then it's gone. But if you want, you can go ahead and turn it all back on. All right, looking good. Um, task manager. All right, and there you go. There's a button for that. If I turn that off, it's not there. This can come in really handy. Um, let's say, you know, maybe one of your apps is taking too much to load. You can go ahead and close it, all right? Which is nice, or you can go ahead and close it all. Um, so nice header customization, uh, header fonts <laughs> you can change. All right, a lot of customization you can do there. Uh, also, you can even change the colors. So very nice set of customization. Quick settings panel. You can also customize the quick settings panels here. What I like to do is actually not make the enlarged first row, right? Then you'll get uh, more spaces. Also, you can customize the colors. All right, brightness slider. There's a brightness slider. If you don't need this, um, you can also go ahead and turn it off and use your a status bar as a brightness slider. So if I turn that off, you won't have that. Uh, but I believe you can actually turn that back on for here. So this way you don't actually need a status bar. You can just do something like this. Oops. There we go. Uh, for some reason, it won't go lower than that. All right, or you can go ahead and use the regular one. A navigation bar, all right, like last time we saw with the DU ROM, Dirty Unicorns, this one also has fling gesture. Let's actually go play with this also. Right swipe, this is kind of fun, and right long swipe, swipe. Uh, let's go to applications, do calendar. All right, that way you have additional buttons you can use. That's actually really neat. Right, that also acts as a home button. If you actually press it, it may turn it on, but it's kind of hard to do. Buttons, hardware keys. Now you can also customize uh, your hardware buttons. For example, if you wanted the new Galaxy style, whereas the menu becomes a recent app switcher, you can go ahead and change that. Um, home button, long press, you can change that to Google Voice. Now you'll have recents like that. If you do long press, um, you will get, all right, Google now. All right, that's nice. You can go ahead and customize. Uh, also, you can do double tap action. This is kind of nice. 
Um, I usually like to do launch cameras, so it'll just become like a new Galaxy S7 or Note 5. All right, as for the camera app, you get the new AOSP camera app, which is nice. Let's actually take a look at the picture size, um, 12.8 megapixels, and you have a bunch of filters. All right, that's nice. And let's check out the front camera real quick. Hello. The camera works really well. Uh, so you just have not, no problems with that. Also, let's actually go take a look at some more things you can do. Recent uh, memory bar, Omni switch, slim recents. If you don't like the recents, you can go ahead and change it. Gestures, of course. If you guys never tried gesture anywhere, this is a lot of fun. Uh, three finger app. Ah, there you go. It will take a screenshot in anytime you use three fingers. Also, if you want gesture anywhere, this is kind of nice. You can ch change the trigger. Make the trigger with a little bit bigger. Um, put it on top somewhere so it won't mess with your, uh, interfere with your keyboard. Let's say you want to add a gesture applications uh, for, let's say, contact. Now, let's say clock. You can do C, right? So anytime you want to use gestures, click up here, C, and calendar. Um, so very nice way to customize. I really like it. If you've never tried gesture shortcuts, definitely check it out. Gesture anywhere. Uh, app circle bar, more ways to add. Miscellaneous stuff you can do. Also multi-window, you can go ahead and enable that. Um, there is also ad blocker. You can go ahead and block ads if you play a lot of games. That can help you uh, block the ads you play. All right, that's pretty much it. I mean, I didn't go through every little single thing, but most of it. And this performance is excellent on this ROM. Um, you should get an average of 30% over uh, KitKat and Lollipop. Well, actually Lollipop, you got about 30%. With Marshmallow, you get the same benefits of Lollipop plus a little bit more battery life because of Doze and uh, more optimizations with the apps. But also there is screen recording, uh, screencast, sound recording, uh, kernel auditor, right? Let's actually check out the kernel auditor. I'm not actually sure if it has a uh, overclocking, but um, if it does, you'll be able to use it here. And maximum frequency 1.89. So there is no overclocking, but you can also underclock it. For example, you want to save some battery life. You can set this to like 1.566. Um, it will make your phone run a little bit slower, but you will save a little bit of battery life by doing that. All right, overall, very, very nice ROM. Um, definitely check it out. I've actually installed it, tested on my GTI 9505. I didn't test it on the at and but it should work. It should work on any GSM Qualcomm-based Galaxy S4. So ROM of the week, Resurrection Remix. If you have a ROM, sorry, phone that supports it, definitely check it out. Um, that's pretty much it for this week. I should try to get some more stuff going for other variants like Sprint and Verizon soon. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay... On Android. Click here to subscribe. Alright, perfect.